Hey guys, Sergeant Pepper 1138 here. Uh, I thought I'd make a video on this uh, Acoustic Control 126 Bass Combo Amp. Uh, I saw another user recently um, by the name of Radcam69. I uh, just thought I'd make a little video here. Uh, this is this has been in my family for quite a long time. Actually, it was my grandpa's, and uh, he I think I remember him playing on it ages ago in the 80s even. But uh, when he died, uh, I acquired it because no one in my family but me really plays anything. So. <laughs> So, and, and I've always wanted to learn to play bass. I'm kind of like my grandpa in that respect to where I, I just kind of tinker and you know, I may not be the most proficient player of an instrument, but I like to, you know, to tinker around with it and figure things out by myself. But uh, anyways, I uh, took this in a few months ago to a notable repair guy around here. Uh, I had to drive like 50 miles or <laughs> about 8, 60 miles to get to him, but uh, it was worth it in the end. He did a great job and, and it sounds fantastic. As you can see, for 1977, it's in amazingly good shape. These, uh, they still have the center click and everything there, and it just, everything works flawlessly. You know, power boost still works great, don't even, don't even need that. <laughs> this thing is so, has such a kick to it, it's crazy. But, um, uh, you know, I plan on cleaning those up. That This is like the only, this and around back where the other ones are at is the only like amount of rust that's notable on this whole thing and the, and the Tolex is in really nice condition it's really just there's not a tear in it which is nice especially <laughs> since it's a pretty nice amp um, yeah but uh, I was I was just extremely excited to get it working again because uh, shortly before I got it fixed I had bought a P bass um, a uh, just a Squire P bass but I Recently, just uh, soldered in some new, uh, some new Seymour Duncan quarter pound uh, pickups, and that that actually that improved the sound quality quite a bit. But uh, yeah, and the, all the you know, all the knobs, they just they they function perfectly. Let's see here, and this has some kind of a, has an odd kind of. It's not Velcro, but it is. It it, it it does the same thing as Velcro, but it's not Velcro. I've never seen it before, only on this thing. But it's, I believe, the original uh, um, woofer in it, so it doesn't have any problems as far as I know. But uh, the guy did a great job. He had to replace all the capacitors and uh, some transistors and a couple other things in it because it was pretty toasted. He installed a fan kit in it so it would circulate the air a little more and hopefully not have that happen again. Um... But yeah, I've been meaning to make this video for a while, a couple of months now, but I just haven't gotten around to it. And we've been having such terrible weather that it's, uh, wouldn't have worked <laughs> to do outside anyways. Uh, finally, it's, we have a, at least a semi-sunny day. It's kind of, you know, the kind of behind some clouds right now, but, uh, it, we were having some major, you know, downpour and all that good stuff. So we are thankful for the <laughs> for the break from all of the terrible weather. But anyway, guys, uh, this is uh, just a I guess a short little video that I've been planning on making. Um, but yeah, this thing will seriously uh, knock your socks off when you're sitting in a room. <laughs> you better be careful the uh, volume's not turned up on it because it'll uh, it'll uh, <laughs> it'll um, shake your house pretty nicely. People can hear me uh, quite a ways away when I have it even just a little ways up. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's about it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.